and welcome back to another video. So, you join me today in Preston for the railway architecture here for you and it should give the game away. I'm on the Preston to Longridge Railway or what's left of it. Absolutely fantastic because we've got a little bit of track down here which I'll show you in a moment. I'm not alone as well. But the purpose of today's video is to go into Preston's Miley Tunnel. Um, so, we're going to walk down the railway and go into the tunnel. Now, I've got with me Gordon. <laughs> got you on the up there, aren't they? He's just sorting himself out. Gordon from Nodrog That's on it. YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so you brought me here today, invited yeah. me here. Going to take me on a mission into the tunnel. And we've got uh, another Martin there. I do. We're going to call him Clarky for today because yeah. uh, two Martins gets confusing. <laughs> so, the road ahead. I'll just show you the road ahead. <clears throat> Slightly overgrown, but we'll cope. But look at this, look at this. Tracks, tracks. I'm just kneeling this dog poo here. Tracks, look. Amazing. And that's what's left at the minute of the uh, Preston to Longridge Railway. So let's see what else we can see along here. You know what? Doing these explores now. I've got that much bloody paraphernalia with me. Lights, cameras, backup cameras. Forgot my microphone. Gordon's, what's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you know, it's actually really good. You know when you're, like, you're doing stuff like this? It's actually very good. I might get, see I've not got to buy that now. Yeah. <laughs> But you, you've got to get the centre of gravity right because it, you, you, it's constantly wanting to go off in a dish, isn't it? Gordon's got a bigger one than me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear that very often. <laughs> anyway, forget Gordon's pole. There's platforms here. This was, we're at the site of Deepdale Station. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, Deepdale Station. Deepdale Station, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll flick over to a map and I'll give you some sort of context and I'll show you the line. But this is the site of Deepdale Station behind me that way that's going towards Lancashire that's going away from Preston this way um, is going towards Preston and the Miley Tunnel now as I've shown you already you've got the uh, the rail line there but you've got the remains of a platform here as well not not much uh, in fact it looks like the top's been taken off doesn't it uh, but you've got some bricks I'll show you Okay, so where are we this week and what on earth is all this about? Well, we're about to explore the Preston and Longridge railway line, long since disused. Um, this map, as you can see, is the rail map online and the red line is the current railway line. You can see it running through Preston. We're going to flick a switch and we're going to show the old disused lines. And there it is, the Preston to Longridge railway line. Now this was initially built in 1836 as a tramway and it was built to serve a, a quarry, the Tootle Heights Quarry. Later on it was uh, converted to a steam railway line and we're starting the journey today at Deepdale or the former Deepdale railway station. I'll show you a map in a moment and Gordon is going to fill you in on some more of the detail as we travel along the line. Okay, so that might make a little bit more sense to you. That's the line we're going to explore. Um, we're starting at Deepdale, so not Deepdale Street, Deepdale, and we're walking towards the Miley Tunnel and where it says Maudland Bridge, and you'll see the line there is now heading towards Preston. Um, just incidentally, if you look at the top of the line there where it says Tootle Heights Quarry, there was big plans that fell in and out of fashion over many, many years to extend the line over towards Yorkshire. Now, these plans for the Yorkshire extension fell in and out of fashion, um, considered, shelved, reconsidered. But in the end, the line never was extended to Yorkshire and it continued to finish at Tootle Heights Quarry. You see where it says Red Scar Works? I think that is what kept the line uh, in use till the 80s, 90s because there was a, there was still a little a service, a good service to the Red Scar Works. Now, I think, was that a Courtauld's Works? Not quite sure, but that is what enabled the line to survive into the 80s and 90s. Anyway, here's Gordon with some more information for you. 
I think the whole purpose of this line originally being built was there was a quarry at the Longridge end called Tootle Heights, a stone quarry. Uh, they built a single section. I mean, the idea, the concept started in 1836 and the line opened in 1840. It was for goods, it was for the quarry. It wasn't necessarily for passengers, but passengers were traveled along the line, a single line about six and a half miles going towards Preston. The stone itself was actually used to build Lancaster Town Hall and Bolton Town Hall and Liverpool Docks and Preston Town Hall. The stone was moved around. The canal system was at the bottom. There was nowhere else to go for the railway. So they transported the stone by canal. One of the most interesting funny parts about this was when it first opened, there was no steam locomotion that was involved. It was done by horse. So they pulled it as a tramway. Can, can you imagine the weight of the stone? They were able to get the stone and the passengers on these wagons down the line just by gravity using a braking system I and mean, that must have been a hair raising episode to get, get yourself on one of those but to come back it was done by horse as it made its way back towards the quarry so I bet a few people had some laughs travelling on those, uh, those wagons I certainly would have been holding on for dear life uh, It's November at the minute and I'm quite glad we're doing it now even though it's cold today because a lot of the vegetation is dying and it can be in summer <laughs> It's just holding this uh, bramble bush back for me. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. That was my fault. It can be a nightmare, as you've seen. Uh, I'll just show you the road ahead. Um, I'll just flick the camera around. Oh, shit. You see what I mean? Um, now, can you imagine this in summer? Or in high summer? We have a bridge. So, see the bridge there, up there? Well, apparently that was where the access down to Deepdale Station was. There was some sort of wooden sort of little steps that came down either side that gave access to the platforms here. So, I'm just gonna go up here where Gordon is there, and I think we can see remains of what was the station or what was the entrance to the station. And so somewhere coming off the bridge, I don't know if you can see the bridge just through there. <clears throat> we think a set of wooden steps came down uh, there's all sorts of evidence here to be honest with you um, look at this here Something with a fitting on there, isn't there? So given what I've just said about access, we're wondering if up here where you see the brickwork patched up up there, if that's where there was a set of steps that came down. And they could have been wooden steps, I don't know. Obviously I never saw this as a working station, but they possibly came down here on this side and gave access to this side of the station as well. Difficult to work out on the other side because the bridge parapet is sort of complete, but be nice to see an old picture of it wouldn't it maybe uh, if i can find one i'll put one in but uh, sometimes these pictures of these old disused stations are like rocking or so uh, that was possibly oh, that could be it couldn't it entrance. so that could have been it couldn't it yeah. where you see that patch there that patch of brickwork there, yes yeah. that could have been what's been bricked up yeah. and brought a staircase down yeah yes you're quite right 1930 it was close to passengers and it carried on as a freight line so 1930 89 years it's not been used as a, a passenger station that's quite some time isn't it so i've just shown you this picture but as you can see it's a distant view from where we've walked up to the bridge where we are now when you just can't see the detail of the bridge and uh, what we think were wooden uh, steps coming down to it but this is dated 1949 and as you can see the station is disused uh, even then um, like I say 1930 it closed to passengers but uh, a nice little view of where we are now and uh, as you can see nature has completely taken over Thank you. 
nice bit of stone there on the bridge as you can see we like stone bridge don't we well that is a uh, quite beautiful that like I say you appreciate these things as you get older don't you what you don't appreciate though is uh, this and prickles and brambles and and all this type of thing and no doubt no doubt when we get further down here, have you cut your hands already? Yeah, I've just, <laughs> just been cut already. Well, it didn't take long, did it? Uh, no doubt when we get further down here, we'll find another load of trash and rubbish and yeah. possibly drug paraphernalia, but it goes with the territory, doesn't it? It goes with territory. Yeah, good boots on, that's all you need. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, yeah, the way ahead is difficult. Anyway, onwards and upwards. After you. You're all supposed to say, sideways and backwards. Sideways and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, what we're going through. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I can't. You know when I went in the mines? I bought a boiler suit. And I wore it once for the mines. I thought, I'll probably never wear that boiler suit again. Anyway, today... The boiler suit makes a return. It's uh, serving well, actually, because it's uh, this is ripping shreds to out of my jeans. So obviously, I wouldn't have known about this tunnel, the Miley Tunnel, or this line, but Gordon has uh, invited me down here and brought me here. Um, so you're a bit of a railway buff yourself, aren't you? Yeah. So if you haven't watched Gordon's channel, it's Nodrog. So what what is what is it you cover? Right. So I'm quite fortunate that I uh, sort of work with. The Great North Rail Project, Network Rail. So I'm able to go out with them to compounds and have a look at the uh, what's going on on our railway infrastructure. So much investment that's going on in, on the rail for the north. Uh, so yeah, I'm very lucky to go out with them. They give me invites, bridges, do seat bridges um, down to Buxton for rail freight. So if you want behind the scenes footage of sort of what goes on with Network Rail. Yeah, because you covered the bridges in Manchester, didn't you? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was uh, yeah because they've had a, a lot of money spent on them, and it was really interesting actually. You've got me going now. Um, <laughs> they did like paint data analysis. Yes. Of the original yes. paint on yeah. those bridges, mm. the three bridges all together on the west side of Manchester Victoria Station, and they were built there. Forget me facts, right? No doubt you're going to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Lancashire York's railway mm. yeah. to be able to connect the railway line from Leeds all the way to Liverpool. Only one bridge was built originally, but then they built subsequently the two there. So if you're travelling under there, I think it's Victoria Street, Hunts Bank, that area. Botmadeen's Gate, isn't it? I always think Botmadeen's Gate, if you know where it is, yeah. Travel yeah. through there, have a look at the bridges and the colour matching of the work mm. and the restoration work, second to none, which just proves that they, uh, they appreciate, like we do, the architecture, the infrastructure, because it's a, a Victorian infrastructure that we've got here still yeah. in yeah. this country. Incredible, Unlike yeah. places in Europe, we're having to deal with the aged old infrastructure but trying to make it work in a, in a modern day society on your territory i was wasn't i very much so yeah get off my land I had to return <laughs> get off my land <laughs> right we're cracking on the tunnel is somewhere down here i don't know we, we've been walking for what 20 minutes yeah. and this bloody tunnel hasn't appeared yet i'm quite excited though uh it's uh like like gordon says a proper feel at home on a disused railway um warming up now not too bad should have brought a flask, didn't bring a flask, but never mind. So, there's one fact I've been dying to tell you, and it's the fact that gets me the most. So, you know I told you the line was close to passengers in uh, 1930? Hey! Ow! <laughs> well... <laughs> It carried on as a freight line until 1980 because it served a small quarry. Again, I'll probably show you, I'll backtrack and show you on maps and everything. Just getting stabbed to death here by brambles. So, goods traffic continued to use part of the line as far as the coal tolls factory at Red Scar. And the last train, now I'm completely stuck. Hang on a minute, I'll carry on in a sec. Look at this. Oh. This is a... You know what, I'm, not, I'm just taking the... Just rip through it. Ah, ah, ouch. I'm proper stuck here now, I can't get through. This is horrendous. Right, sorry about that, I'll try this again. Those brambles are a bit clingy, you see. <laughs> they don't let you through. 
Um, there you so remember what I said it closed to passengers in 1930 but it carried on as a good line until 1980 anyway what I've been dying to tell you is the following the last train on this line was worked by a class 25 diesel class 25 142 on Friday the 8th of February 1980 however that is Wikipedia so <laughs> is it true well we hope so but wouldn't it be wonderful to think that it was a 25 that worked this line chugging away with its Sulzer engine that way and then forever nature just closed the line behind it as it does anyway enough poet poeticism let's crack on And so ahead, we have a fence. And beyond the fence, we have a tunnel. <laughs> I used to do that at the gym all the time. I haven't got it anymore. I started doing YouTube and lost it. <laughs> All right, so we're here, the Miley Tunnel, Preston. You see there's a gap in the fence there, squeeze through that. Uh, so again, easy entry. Um, what an amazing thing, uh, stone. And I just love the keystone up there, or the ornamental keystone. Right, we're at the entrance to the tunnel, we're about to walk in. Now, just as we get here, Gordon tells me the place is haunted. Now, I don't go for ghosts, and you don't really, do you? No. But we can't do the Miley Tunnel without telling you about the possible ghost that walks the lines in here. Who is she? It's a lady. Is it? <laughs> you said that very creepy then, didn't you? I'm just about to go into a tunnel. She with walks it. the lines. <laughs> it's uh, not long after the steam locomotion on the double track. I believe that the uh, the train was going Preston bound. Um, so be going that way? No, it'd be going this way. Oh yes, of course, Along that way, yeah, that yeah. Way. yeah. Getting confused that um, way. Yeah. And what happened was, the lad, I'm assuming the acquaintance, was on the train. In them days, they were slam doors, they weren't these automatic ones, and the windows, you could roll them down, because you had to open the door from the outside, if you remember, you had to put your hand out. He had his hand out, and he was holding on to her hand, um, and unfortunately, she slipped and she fell under the wheels of the carriage, and that was the end of her. Now, in them days, he was a uh, possible chance of being uh, for the chop, as it were, hung as his punishment, because he got the blame for it. They thought he held on to her hand and dragged her under the train. Right. But at the, uh, I believe at the inquest or the, the, in the court, they decided that they couldn't work out if she held on or he held on. Yeah. And because of that, he got away with being hung. This lady, uh, maybe the grey lady, I think she's called, maybe has been seen, a little blue light has been seen moving around in the tunnel, maybe you know a bit more than what we do. Mm -hmm. Again, to me it's more than fantasy yeah. uh, than, than, than it is fact. Bit of fun, but what I've done is brought an EMF oh. meter <laughs> on oh, eBay. An EMF meter? Yeah, so I've just learned how these work. People were telling me, oh, get an EMF meter, uh, electromagnetic field tester. 
And this is what ghosts put out, is it? Yeah. Electromagnetic fields. Apparently, yeah. Right. But you can pick up natural. I thought they did slime. No, that's ghost slime. Busters, <laughs> yeah. ghost um, there's uh, the natural electromagnetic fields, but if it starts to go up and you're not near anything sort of electrical or, or, or I don't really know the lay of the land, but uh, magnetic, but then there's something that's changed the electromagnetic field. And if you talk and ask questions and it flashes or the readings go up, that's a sign that they've contacted you from the other side. So you're basically telling me we're going into the tunnel to do a seance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. Uh, right, so Clark, he's ahead. You can just see him, you can't even see him. Uh, yes, there he is, flashing his light. So let's take a walk and see what this thing is like. Right, so I'm quite familiar with these uh, railway tunnels by now and I know what these things are. Um, I did watch a video once where somebody was wondering what these little archways in the, or these recesses in the tunnel wall were. Clarky, what were they? They were used by the, by the navvies to get to step away from trains passing. They're, they were called refuges and would be used to ensure that navvies stayed safe as trains were passing in either direction. So you can just make out there, so it's just a little, what would you say, two foot? Two foot recess in the tunnel wall. So we're in the tunnel. We're going to have a go at the uh, what's it? EMF. EMF meter. Yeah. EMF meter. See if we can pick up any vibes. Vibes. Spiritual vibes. I don't want to be disrespectful. If anyone knows anything more about this story, then by means comment down below. But it's been uh, a fair time since it all happened. So I'm assuming be great grandparents if you know anything. But uh, we're going to turn this on now. What are we listening for? Well, it's not so much listening. Voices. It's, it's, it's uh, voices. <laughs> if I hear any voices, believe you me, I'll be off like a shot. <laughs> All the paranormal investigators are now going to be laughing at me, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, laughing at us. <laughs> if there are any spirits in Marley Tunnel, not the empty bottles, and you want to come forward and speak, or you want to give an indication that you're here, should be really nice. We're, we're very respectful. We don't mean any harm. Keep still. We're just very inquisitive. I have a little device in my left hand ear that can measure you if you come close to it. And it'll show a number, a few numbers, if the magnetic field changes in this tunnel, stating your presence. I don't think you've got any fireworks with you at the moment, have you? Maybe make a noise in the tunnel, a banging noise. Tapping noise. Make this machine in my left hand change its numbers, which gives an indication. So the temperature's dropped, has it? Yeah, it went down as nine, oh, nine point eight. So it was 11.4, then it's gone down to 9.8. Mm -hmm. We'll give it one more go, because we've got a bit of a tunnel to get through yet. The lady that fell underneath the train, are you, uh, you said that you uh, wander the, the halls of this tunnel. Right, I'm normally fine on these explorers. I don't get, <laughs> I don't get spooked. I'm normally have to like, just just walk through. I'm never spooked on these, but you've spooked me out now. Are you alright to continue? Well, I'm going to have to. I've drove from Manchester to Preston. I can't let the grey lady stop me. All due respect to her. Right, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's demand, he demands to see this ghost. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit spooky actually. Uh, 
Uh, can we not just, can we do the ghost hunting on the way out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rather than the way in. <laughs> anyway, cracking on. <laughs> So looking ahead, I'm thinking, I thought it was an optical illusion that the tunnel sort of bends, but if you look behind us there, you can see how the tunnel sort of on a, what well, we can't see because of me. But if you can see that, the tunnel sort of bends round a little bit. I'll just show you, I'll zoom in for you. I keep getting readings on this meter. <laughs> it's gone from a railway, disused railway line walk to a ghost hunt. A bit. bit of a first for me though. Yeah. So further down here, I don't know if you remember the Standish Tunnel video I did, there was, there was an area where it all opened up called the Cathedral. Well apparently this tunnel has got the same thing, uh, Gordon is telling me. So, I don't know exactly where it is. Ooh, is this it? I think we're oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, we're here. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, so we're here, the cathedral, you can just about see it behind us there where it opens up. What, I take it the tunnel ended here, mm. went into a short yeah. cut in, yeah. and then carried on, but yeah. why is it, can, why is it, what's that that's been built over it? So we've got the Deepdale Tunnel, which is over in this direction, but the Maudlin Tunnel, which is what I've coined the names anyway, over in this area, yeah. uh, just behind us, but above was like a, a short cut in. Uh, I suppose they seemed it as a waste of space they could develop on top of that, which they do all the time anyway. Uh, and that's what they've done. And you can appreciate how thick the big beams, concrete reinforced beams are, just above us, running from north to south. And then you've got look, the, the sort of extra beams all running this direction, east to west. And they've built the new police station on top of that. So above us here, thousands of tons of buildings that are all been placed up in this area, up here. Right. And in doing so, in this cutting, it's obviously made it into the one complete tunnel. There, so far with the tunnels you've been in. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, like it. So the journey continues. We're in the second part of the tunnel now. Oh, we've just passed that cathedral bit. Uh, how, how long is this tunnel? What do you reckon, Martin? Just shy of a mile? Shy of a mile. Yeah. Right, a mile. Yeah, not right. far off. Good stuff. And we're actually deep underneath. I've looked on the map, to be honest with you. I looked on the map before we came. We're quite deep underneath Preston here and all the buildings. It's quite a really built up area above us. Love the way the uh, brick, you see the brick lining that's modern, uh, turns into the uh, older lining there. Soot on there, isn't it, from the steam trains? Yeah. Oh, I can see the end of the tunnel now. You see the light at the end of the tunnel? Light at the end of the tunnel. There it is. And you can see the curve on it now, can't you? Right, we've just emerged from the tunnel into this bit of a cutting here. I'll just flick around and show you. See this cutting? What are these wooden struts up here? What, what was that? Do we know? Yeah, well, they would have held up the, uh, the supported the weights that are going to be buried on the cutting itself. If or buildings. to keep it spaces almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's basically, in essence, that's what it's for. You've got the wooden ones up, but if you notice, Martin, there's concrete ones, which there will is. be after yes. the wooden ones. However... The wooden ones remain well. Right. There's some concrete ones that are missing. Right. So it just shows that the that wood. And if you know something that's really exciting, have a look with the, the ties and the knots, the way they've pegged them in. Yeah. You'll see them on the on the bottom. Yeah. Which is very old fashioned, especially when the beams are coming across. Right. So they would there would be no major ironwork holding them together for what we can physically see. It's a case of the natural forces, the load bearing forces that are sat on it, that it's actually doing its job. And you know, they'd probably last another 200 years. Yeah. 
So about to enter another section now from the cutting here. This is a shorter section and lit. Why is it lit? Well, I think they've lit it primarily because of the fact that it was flooding. You'll notice there's probably be a, a pump. You'll hear a pump just ticking over. Yeah. Uh, and it's important, obviously, for them to keep this area flood free. There is rumours when the Guild Tramway wants to get up and running that they want to use part of this line as a track test bed. Uh, and again, I've heard noise that they are clearing certain areas. So potentially, this may be a start of them clearing. It could be wrong, but uh, right, forgive me for being thick. Has Preston got a tramway? No. So Preston, it hasn't. No. So it, we're talking of. This talking. is a possible route. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, right. They're wanting to do uh, some sort of track testing. Absolutely amazing. There's a bit of a device here, just found. Some sort of laser, it looks like a measuring device or something. Look at this on here. I'll give you a little close up of that. I wonder why, uh, I wonder if this is something to do with the survey in it for a tramway? Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think there's. Uh, so Gordon showed me a cool little trick. You know those little reflectors in the uh, built into the wall that are for a survey. Well, when you go to the other end of the tunnel or the cutting, and you use the flash on your camera and you take a photo, you get a cool little effect because you get this reflection. Okay, so as we walk through the final part of this tunnel, um, this lit part. You can see this is the direction we're walking up here and we're about to open up into what was uh, a yard. So the line now starts to split. I'm going to show you the old 1888 map. Two circles. The bottom circle just shows you where Preston Station is and I've crudely drawn in a line there, a black line to show the railway line. Top circle is our line now opening up and splitting off into a yard. Let's zoom in on that top circle and look at that yard. There you go. Um, so the line I've drawn in is the Lancaster Canal. And the circle is our line now opening up into the yard area. Okay. The whole point of the railway line, the Preston Long Ridge Railway Line, when it was a tramway, was to bring stone from the quarry. And this is where it would have come. And it would have been offloaded, the wagons, onto the canal, the Lancaster Canal. Um, so let's go to that area now. And let's look at what's left of the canal. And we'll look at that area where the line now sort of ends in its yard if you like right so we just opened out here uh, this was a yard was it yeah it was this is where this is a yard um, so the line has come now we're almost at, at line's end this area here was a transfer point where the canals used to come in with all the goods coal the stone Stone came that way, yep. loaded onto the boats here. Um, for it to go off to the where they built the town halls, as mentioned before, yep. and any other goods that were done. So it was quite a busy, vibrant area, plus to supply Preston. You see we're on a bridge here. Ooh, so we need to look over this bridge. Nice uh, forge plate on this bridge. Dallum Forge. Dallum Forge, Warrington, 1883. These are the university buildings you can see here. Well, let's go have a look over, see if we can see what's on the uh, the canal. <coughs> oh, it's disused. So as you can see, completely disused there. Wow. So we're looking at the uh, the Lancaster Canal here, and obviously this would have been quite a hub. A hive of activity at one point when they would have been loading stone off the trucks from the quarry that have come all the way down the line and would have been loaded here onto the canal boats and uh, obviously now it's completely overgrown there is talk of this being opened up again uh, let's hope so eh because it'd be quite a nice area and as i said our line then splits off here under these uh, 
three sort of bridges, if you like. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking they're all identical, but they're not. I'm going to show you some detail on the top of that bridge there. Here's the first one. If we zoom in there, look at the, uh, the metal work there, how it's kind of plain. Preston 1847. Let's flick over now to the, uh, the second one, the second span along. Look at that one there, see how it's a different design. If we flick over to the third um, span, you see how it's different again with the rivets in. Um, and I think that's a different Dallum Forge again, that one. So it just shows you, doesn't it? It looks identical from, uh, from back there, but they're all different uh, detail on the uh, bridges. Right, so that was absolutely fascinating. Gordon. Hello. Martin. Hello. Thanks for bringing us down here. And it's really good to have local knowledge because, you know, that, that detail on the bridge, yeah. I would have never spotted that, to be yeah. honest with you. I call myself a video maker, I wouldn't have spotted it. That was brilliant. So thanks for bringing me down. Thanks for terrifying me in the tunnel with the, <laughs> uh, the lady. We've got to go back now through the tunnel. Um, so, yeah, thanks for that. I, I, honestly, I've never been... I've never been scared before. For a moment, you was dramatising yeah. that much. Yeah. Well, you were. You was actually getting well, reading. Yeah. And I'm like, well, the old I wasn't like expecting this. anything to happen. <laughs> and, and that that to uh, crop up then was like, it did get me questioning a little Tell bit. Yeah. to drop in, that yeah, bleeping, <laughs> leave my tunnel. Yeah. Anyway, we're going back that way, back to the car, through the tunnel again. We're going to do the sacrilegious thing of possibly lighting it for my video and taking a few nice, nice little photographs. But it did disco time, what we've done before. So thanks very much. Oh, it's a pleasure, mate. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you, Martin. Anytime. No Thank you for watching, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now. See you later. Or, we're in Preston, Lancashire. Ta-ra for now. <laughs> Ta-ra. Ta-ra.